Welcome back everybody to another How To. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna focus on Battleship Solo gameplay. As some people mentioned, Bullshit. Play solo all the time. So, in this video, I'm gonna play a battleship and a cruiser. I'm gonna to talk to you about everything I'm seeing and everything I'm thinking. So hopefully, you can take that and use that this weekend whenever you go to play. Of course, we get the new map and I've yet to play the new map and anything besides the one carrier game I played the other night. But just using my brain, I'm looking first thing I see at the mini map. Okay, two DDs. One of them being a gunboat and then a carrier. General quarters. I'm also looking and I'm seeing AFK, right? So, not AFK, no camo, AFK, okay, he came back. I was gonna say, that's gonna be rough. Looking at the map though, I want to crossfire over to B if possible. Like I said, I haven't played this map, so I really don't know if the crossfires are available and where they're at using my brain that has cells in it, I'm gonna go to this island, for sure. At a minimum, this cross set does have radar. So I'm backed up by a radar cruiser, myself, and that's it. Hopefully this guy doesn't try to kite, he just tries to position and hold, and we can try to win this cap. It looks like we're mostly by ourselves. That's important, right? So like if this Kronstadt bails out, like I probably need to bail out too. Because by myself, I could get overwhelmed, overrun. You don't want to do that. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what we're up against. I'm not liking what I'm seeing here from the Kronstadt. He's, he's pulled out here, and now he's deciding to turn and go broadside to, to, to start the kite. He should have already started the kite. Maybe we get lucky here. Maybe. He's paying attention. It says that all clear. I don't trust it. Never trust any wargaming thing. So it's a Udaloy here, and he's way over there. Okay, so we can just play our rock. We're not worried about anything going around us and torping us. Both DDs are spotted. Keep an eye on that mini map, folks. He's staring at that mini map. I heard those things are just overpin freaking city. Which is honestly pretty unfortunate. So I'm making the executive decision at this time to like go ahead and push in through A. Yes, we do have a Udaloy in front of us. Yes, our I don't know what our guy's doing now. I mean he's still sitting broadside to that battleship, but he's pretty far away. I'm not sure what the point of that was or how he didn't get punished. Waiting for an opportune shot. It looks like we got a really good one. Sometimes, whenever you're a solo player and you don't know when someone popped a radar, has him spotted, obviously Mogami's got him spotted. So you just don't know if he's gonna go dark, he's gonna pop a smoke. Sometimes it's best to have the shot in the position that you want it and just keep it in that position. Nice job, Mogami. Never could have seen a torps coming. Sometimes it's better to wait, right? And just and just hold out for a better look. What is up with the broadsides, hello? Oh, you're gonna back up? That's gonna help you a lot. Same up, because shells fall short, says the player base. Okay. Maybe if we can get this back gun around here, maybe the back gun will kill him and the fronts will be loaded for the uh, Udaloids on the back side of this rock. We'll have to wait and see. I'll take that trade all day. Come on, gun. Get there before the other ones are loaded. Damn it. What's the timing on that one? No sits, huh? It's weird, because I got a video out that how, talking about how you just don't see citadels anymore. I have to go back and review that one and watch it, but... I definitely thought there should have been... Probably a citadel in there. Udaloy is still here. 
right? We can see it. We know he's still here. I just went dark. I'm gonna switch directions. He sees me going around that side of the rock. He's still here. He's still in the cap. So we're just gonna wait and keep our guns facing forward. He's just waiting for probably a YOLO opportunity. Last stand opportunity. We'll see. Mmm. Okay. See? See how he's on that side? He was coming to get me. To throw his torps. Sneaky, sneaky boy. Now listen, we're going to be hard over, and there's going to be a point where he's going to try to throw these torps if he has a brain. Right? And when he does, we're going to hit reverse right about... Now. Right? Right? Be smarter. Right? Just be smarter than the people you're playing against. And you'll find there's a lot more enjoyment to the game whenever you can just think ahead and outthink the people you're playing. You know what his only play is there. Maybe maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, but you know what he's trying to do. Now we've won our side and we are rewarded with a look at the carrier. Okay. Well, that back gun's not gonna fire, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Go figure. All right. Damn, what a different looking salvo that is when they all the guns fire at the same time. What a difference. And kiss your ass goodbye. Learn to use autopilot, maybe. Or just don't play a carrier. And that's that. So that is the first game. All right, that was only one game. I played one game. First game. Just use your head, right, and put yourself in, in smart positions and read the map. That's all super, super, super important. And sometimes, take your time. You know, one thing that drives me nuts in this game is the first person spotted on your team guaranteed every single three brain cell individual on the red team is turning their guns and looking at you. And 70 or 80% of those people are going to shoot at you. That drives me nuts. It really does. Because it's like, you know as a battleship player, there is an opportunity on ma the majority of maps in the opening, you know, or really the first salvo, the opening minute and a half. There's going to be an opportunity 30% of the time to take a broadside shot on somebody. Because people just go broadside for no reason. So a lot of times when people get spotted, I don't shoot. I sit there and wait. Even if they're shooting at me, I wait. Because of battleship, long reload, you know, you're only going to get one look at that kind of opportunity. And it's just, it's one of those things. Now we're going to move on to something that requires a lot more thinking, at least if you want to play it at a high level, at a high caliber, and which I'm just going to be real honest. You can play it however you want. I don't give a shit if you go out there and get dev struck immediately and then just go pick a new boat. Because... There's a large percentage of the people in this game that do that anyways. Makes no difference to me. But I do find I end up having a lot more fun with this game when I play it smart and I outplay people, I live longer, I have better team impact, I win more games. That's just how I like to play everything. I've never not picked up a controller or thrown a football and not tried to go out and win. It's just who I am. Okay, off the rip, looking around. I'm the only cruiser, two battleships, uh, Bismarck and Bismarck. Are they playing together? They're not even playing together. Just luck of the draw, they spawn with me. I'll never understand Wargaming's mentality for the life of me. Go ahead and look at the graph. The, the tier five spawns are so separated and then the high tier shit they put in two squares. I'll, I will just never understand that for the entire time that I play this game. Because it makes no sense. Because they really screw you here. Like, I'm in a cruise. I want to go this way. I want to go sit on one of these rocks here and then have a crossfire back into the spawn. I don't know that I want to go all the way around. Going all the way around a lot of the times ends up kind of taking you out of the fight unless the team goes that way and they never do on this map because it bunches people up like crazy. But this also screws me because they put an island here. So if the DD came this way and I got spotted right now, I mean, I'm just a perfect sitting duck, right? To a Georgia. I don't want to be that. I'm not duck. I'm not covered in feathers. 
but the game the game designers make it that way and I don't know why a little free shot there so I'm gonna swing out I'm gonna swing back in all right and the Bismarck is gonna be our target with cruiser gameplay, slow down in advance. Slow down before you think you need to slow down. You don't have to hit the hit the full reverse and then and then drift into your spot. Slow down ahead of time and then pull into your spot. Right? That alone will save probably 30% of you a lot of pain and suffering when it comes to battle or to cruiser gameplay. Right now this Bismarck really can't do anything to me can't pin my nose. I don't have that much to worry about. But look my positioning here. The guy that can hurt me can't hit me, no matter how hard he tries or wants to. So we're just going to sit right here and we're going to whittle down the Bismarck for a minute and then go from there. I'm spotted right now. You see that? The DD's over here. Tell the team. Is he still ticking in damage? No, he's not. So that means he DC'd my fire, because I have one fire. A full secondary build, and he's sitting flat broadside. That was a blind fire. I was going to say they fell short, but that was a blind fire. The ship is on fire. I'll sit here and take some of these secondaries. I don't care. I don't care. Not going to hurt me that much. I'm going to go ahead and back up now. BD's way out there. I'm about to go dark. I'm gonna go ahead and DC now and pop this heal and get that all right back. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Problem solved, sir. Teammate, I need your support. Come on, Parcival. Now look, that Bismarck is upset he lost all of his health. So he's gonna sit there and he's gonna let some heals come back. Which is more than I can say for the majority of people that run the full secondary build Bismarck. He they usually just go until they die. At least he had the brain cells to stop what he was doing and just sit there for a second. Now, if that Bismarck comes out, we're going to switch back to him. For now, we're going to fire on some of these guys. Yeah, Georgia can overmatch me and the damn plane is spotting me. Sick. Could have been worse. We're going to back up, though. We're gonna get cheeky with this angle. I might have an opportunity in a minute to show you how to curve the front guns around the corner and not be spotted. I am spotted because of the DD. I don't know where he is. He's either, he's cutting through islands for sure. Don't hurt me, thank God. Bismarck is gonna sit there, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Brave one is finally coming back out. DD is shooting right there. So he's back there with the Bismarck. That's fine by me. I should look and see if they're playing together. If he's providing, like, will to rebuild or something. Not that it matters much, but... All information is good. Hello? You're not gonna back up? Yeah, he is. It's gonna take five years to in reverse, throw me off. I have no idea what this guy is doing. I don't know where to aim because I have no idea what he's doing. Now he's going back forward. Going to smoke. I wonder if he's going to sit right there and shoot. With the state of the game right now where these guys are at, I want to keep this Bismarck alive. So a little combined AA. And I want to push up and kill both the DD and this Bismarck. Both can be killed. If I kill them, I take control that right side. Although the carrier is definitely a problem. But it ha I think it needs to be done. Bismarck in the middle is dead. Keep this guy alive. Keep him from being torped. Gotta watch out for that. That's the only thing I really have to worry about. Mm. Okay. Both racks are spotted.
Gotta watch that flounder. Oh, Z popped out. Silly boy. Oh good, Bismarck's secondaries. He's got his booster on. Timed that just right, didn't I? Can't lead that shot. Doesn't matter, he's gonna die anyways. We sunk an enemy destroyer. Hmm. At this point, now I'm in the pickle. So I got an eye on my left that is pushing through. Full health flounder back here. Get back! If this Bismarck would stop and sit right here. We could take control of this game. I don't think he will. He's gonna push on through. You're in secondary range, Bismarck. Stop. Don't go around that corner. Unless you have guns flip for Iowa, but you absolutely have no clue he's there. Okay. I do have this guy double fired, so that's something. I'm protected from the Iowa, which is the only thing I really have to worry about here. Some smart ass is thinking he can shoot HE at me. I'm not gonna damage con this because I'm most likely gonna be the next victim of this carrier. Just pray the Iowa's not looking, is he? Shit. So we're turning in with our stern. And we're fine. Please don't sit it on me with those bombs. Did he miss? I threw AP in there thinking he might... Give me the angle. Of course that Iowa was sitting there staring at me, huh? But he didn't. I loaded back into HE. Am I being shot at? I don't have my headset on. Can't hear all that well. And this guy's out of here. Only two torps, because he's deep plane with torpedoes. That's pretty good. Ends in five minutes. I'm not going to take that fight. I'm not going to take that fight. I'm going to go into their cap, and I'm going to go for their carrier, and I'm going to try and link up with this Friesland. See, look, he wants to shoot at me. Hey, you want to do that? You do that, buddy. I'm not, I'm not engaging in that fight. Look who we found, boys. I thought we were playing a Parsifal. I could probably load AP for this. Might try it here. Five overpins, really? Five overpins, dude? Am I gonna get five overpins again? Oh, there's four pins, okay. Stupid Friesland, man. I guess see what he did? He just sailed straight and let that Charles hit a 17 kilometer shot on him. Come on, brother. Now listen, I'm gonna defend myself and I'm gonna go dark. That's my plan. Hopefully dodge this guy's torps. That Charles would never load AP in his life.
Problem solved, sir. <laughs> he loads AP as I'm already turned all the way around. Now we're going to sit here. We're going to wait. All right? Because at this point, the game's over. Like, we've officially won if we just sit here and do nothing. That's all we have to do. Sit here and do nothing. They have to come to us. They have to come get us off this cap. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. I mean, don't be that guy full health that's still chasing people. Yeah, come on back, buddy. Come on back. I'll play. The fact the carrier has not been going to attack this guy is mind-boggling because we're officially spotted. AP. We've put ourselves in a pretty good spot now. Those all fall short. Right. Is that not enough lead? Might not be. It's gonna reset us, it doesn't matter. We get nothing out of that. The ship is on fire! Either that thing's got better armor than I remember, or Wichita's AP is just mid. Hope if I could hit the guy. Why am I aiming up? He's coming at me. Sort of. There it is. There it is. It's watching me in the eye. I was able to land a shot. There we go. So just all you got to do is just think about long term play when it comes to cruisers and positioning and your teamwork. You know, think five minutes ahead in the battle, especially in the opening two minutes. Think five minutes ahead where you want to be. Whenever people start getting spotted, you can tell where they're going to play, you know, where they want to play that round. Just read the map. Read the map and then position yourself accordingly with the red team and the blue team and be aware. That's it. That's all you got to do. You'll find that you start winning a lot more games and a lot more matches, and that's, that's all it takes to just play solo, man. Awareness. That's it. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Hope this helped. I'm out. Peace.